ECG playlist is given in the description. You can watch the previous videos in sequence before watching this one to completely understand the topic as a lot of things are already discussed. Many ECG recorders will automatically give you heart rate and conduction intervals. They are usually accurate. However, you must examine the ECG yourself as recorders tend to over report and describe abnormalities where none exist. The description of an ECG should be reported in this sequence. Number 1 rhythm and rate. Number 2 conduction intervals. Number 3 cardiac axis. Number 4 a description of the QRS complexes. Number 5 a description of the ST segments and T waves. After these 5 points you will write down the interpretation in which you will mention whether the ECG is normal or not. If it is not normal you will also mention the abnormalities present in it. This is a normal ECG. Let's report it. We will write down point number 1 as normal sinus rhythm, rate is equal to 75 beats per minute. Sinus rhythm means that P waves are present before QRS complexes. P waves are formed when sinus node of the heart initiates electrical signal and this electrical current spreads into the atria. In such a case, sinus node is controlling the heart rate. So if P waves are present before QRS complexes, it is called a sinus rhythm. Note that QRS complexes are equally spaced in the bottom rhythm strip, which shows that the rhythm is regular. Therefore, we have described it as normal sinus rhythm. Heart rate calculation formula is already discussed. It is calculated by the formula 300 divided by number of large boxes in an RR interval. Here we have 4 large boxes in an RR interval. So heart rate is equal to 300 divided by 4 equals to 75 beats per minute. The magic number 300 in this formula comes from the fact that ECG paper speed is such that 300 large boxes are present in 1 minute. In point number 2, we will write normal PR interval, normal QRS complex duration. Normal values of these conduction intervals are already discussed. You can pause the video here to note down the normal values. In point number 3, we will write normal cardiac axis. What is a normal cardiac axis and what are right and left axis deviations are also already discussed. Point number 4 will be normal QRS complexes. Point number 5 will be normal ST segments, normal T waves. Inverted T waves in lead VR are normal. Abnormalities of ST segments will be discussed further in the upcoming videos. Interpretation Normal ECG If the ECG is abnormal, we will have to mention the abnormalities present in it. One of the main problems of ECG reporting is that there is quite a lot of variation in the normal ECG. Here is the variant of normal ECG. We will report it as normal sinus rhythm rate 50 beats per minute, normal PR interval, normal QRS complex duration, normal cardiac axis, normal QRS complexes, normal ST segments, normal T waves, prominent U waves in leads V2 to V4. Interpretation Normal ECG Here is another variant of normal ECG. It will be reported as normal sinus rhythm, rate 75 beats per minute, Normal PR interval, normal QRS complex duration, right axis deviation because lead 1 is negative. Normal QRS complexes, normal ST segments, normal T waves. Interpretation, normal ECG, apart from right axis deviation which could be normal in a tall thin person. Like the video if it was helpful for you, subscribe to stay tuned, thanks a lot.